What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Vasil Lomachenko. Yes, um, I watched the fight live. Shout out to everybody. Each and every one was on the live stream. Now it's time to Counter Punch and recap. Um, I, again, I came in on the second round. And for what I saw in the second round, the leather was flying people. I mean, Komei was throwing punches and chopping punches to the shoulders, to the to the uh, solar plexus, to the sides of uh, of Loma's body. Loma was doing the same, but he was doing it just more systematically. OK, um, I can tell that Komei was chopping with the right hand. Of course, that's the uh, weapon of choice when fighting a southpaw. However, however, um, Loma figured that out too. He figured that out. Okay, let me duck and slip, counter with my left. He started doing that up into, I think, the seventh round. Uh, Komei was holding at times, and I think, you know, Steve Willis at times was getting kind of annoyed with that because you can tell when Loma's, when Loma doesn't like to be held anyway. He doesn't like for nobody to hold him because he can always snatch himself out because and he uses his footwork to do it. That may be people one of the reasons why he had that damn sur surgery surgery on his shoulder because of the things that he, uh, that he was doing. Maybe it was because he's trying to snatch himself out of somebody that's trying to hold hold his um, arms, you know, to stop him from punching. Right. In the meantime, they can whack them with their own cheap shots. So those type of things happen. Um, but I think that Loma was just too much for Komei. Komei was a tough mother sucker. He, I think he represented where he was from very well. There was no quit. There was no surrender. And he came back throwing bombs. And I think the heavy handedness of Komei kept uh, Loma from totally ripping him a new one. Because, again, at the beginning of that fight, I seen Komei go to the body. Therefore, I seen red whelps on Lomachenko's uh, body side, side of his body, where his love handles and all that is. And I was like, damn, who's been welling you, you know what I mean? Um, but it was definitely Komei that was keeping Loma at bay to a certain extent with the punching power. That kept him cautious enough not to just walk through Komei. That would have probably been dangerous. You know, I think uh, Chocolatito, remember him? He was one of the best ever until he started getting knocked out by Rondon Sai, remember, out of Thailand. You know, and he wasn't used to that type of punch. Well, okay. Um, Loma is a guy that came from a lower weight class, and he's not used to that type of punch either. You know, so he's technically the smaller guy. But he really did make a good account of himself. He took out Nakatani. He took out Komei. And um, I think it's one and one because Teofimo Lopez, of course, got the knockout in like the first round or the second round where it took Lomachenko 12 whole rounds to get that in the bag. But I think he appreciates it because I think he wants to, um, he might have been working out that shoulder, but I think he wanted the rounds in so it wouldn't be as whatever. Because I kind of seen a little bit of ring rust. I mean, the footwork's always there. He can let you. You can watch Lomachenko train 20 years from now. He's probably still going to look the same running into that. You know, he's not a competing, of course. I hope not. But, you know, you can definitely see certain things that keep him where he needs to be. But, um, but Lomachenko, you know, I look forward to him fighting Cambosos. You know, Cambosos has been on a shopping spree for the next opponent. And whoever that may be may be going to Australia. So we have to see in the later months um, that that's the case. Okay. Um, I think that uh, Lomachenko is a great fighter. Uh, again, we'll see who gets the Haney fight. Is it Lomachenko? Uh, is it Cambosos? Um, we would, we don't know. Um, sorry. Will it be Lomachenko or will it be Devin Haney? <laughs> Not Cambosos, you know, kind of tired, but, uh, I do feel that Lomachenko, um, hurt him in the middle rounds. I think he could have finished him. And I think he didn't finish him because I think he purposely tried to get the rounds. He even disrespected the corner and told, Hey, Cole May, Cole May's coach, what you want me to keep hitting him? You want me to keep fighting him? All right. Kind of reminds me of uh, Antonio Tarver when he knocked out Eric Harding. You know, you almost got this motherfucker killed. <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, uh, great performance by Loma. I think he got the cobwebs off. Uh, Comey, good brother. And I like him. I like his attitude. He fought for his country. He kind of got misty eyed, kind of got emotional in there because, you know, he felt like he, you know, you know, uh, let them down. But styles make fights, people. It was a good night of boxing. Um, you guys tell me what you think of Lomachenko beating him unanimously on every scorecard. No doubt about it. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.